Let's talk about Taylor Swift and her reaction to her friend receiving a reward and thanking God. Now, let me just ask you, what kind of person do you think would have a reaction of shaking her head no in disapproval when she thanks God? Do you think maybe Taylor Swift might have a little bit of a disdain towards people that thank God? Is it possible that maybe Taylor Swift might even be related to somebody like Anton LaVey, who was one of the leaders of the Church of Satan, considered one of the fathers of Satanism. And his daughter, Zena LaVey, does seem to look a whole lot like Taylor Swift, but let's see what Zena and her friend have to say about Satanism. We make music for a purpose. It's not just background music, or it's not just, you know, fluffy, light stuff. It's not, it's this for, is not elevator satanic music. It's no. ritualistic music. It is music it is that by, by even the act of listening to it, you are participating in a satanic ritual. By listening to, so if I put this on and listen to it, I'm participating. Because I'm asking you, how does it make you feel? I it's mean, very stirring. It's very emotionally charged. You can't listen to this music and say you don't feel something because you do. I'm sure you would probably feel either hate or fear or rage or something. I but don't know, maybe he's a great musician. I well, just you say don't the guy's know. very talented. Right, but I would say that someone who would listen to it would probably feel very similarly to how one might feel if they're listening to classical music that is and bombastic but, but and here's a, song, here's a song called Incubus, which is about uh, sexual cohabitation with demons, a, a human being cohabiting with a spirit being. Right. That's what it is. That's correct. True. <laughs> so, um, and? how does that make you feel? <laughs> well, this is another I mean, This is a woman mythology. cohabiting with a demon. Right. And then there are other actors as well. Actresses. Because of for, for whom? For example, whom? Well, because of the recent hysteria we've seen, I'm not going to put their There, their are, there are people in every in field of endeavor, in architecture, well, science, well, it's, 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 oh, as a matter of fact. You, 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 you see, you, you blame it on hysteria, but in fact, uh, if, if they're a follower of Satan, uh, should they not be willing to step forward and say so? I mean... Well, that's what we're embarking on now. Well, you know? if you want to be a Christian, you have every right to be a Christian. We don't want you to become a Satanist. We just want people who are already with us. We're not trying to convert or proselytize. And I think that has not been understood until this point. You don't want to recruit. You don't want to convert. There's only a, a limited <laughs> amount of people in the world who can truly say they respond to the satanic philosophy or understand it. It isn't for the millions, it isn't for the masses, it is for the rulers and leaders of the earth. It's for people who achieve. That's one percent of humanity can achieve. We have no regard for the masses. Satanism is a religion for the elite. It is a religion for leaders. It's a religion for competent people. It's not a religion for anyone who wants to be a Satanist. We don't say, well, the homeless, the, the handicapped, those with I don't multiple care. sclerosis, I don't need want not apply. the homeless, the handicapped. The people That's your in job. Mother Teresa's home you've for the take, dying and the take, destitute, they need not apply. I don't Why want them. You've they? taken that on your shoulders. That's your job. You're doing a great job with the homeless. You help everyone. We're helping those who help themselves, as it says in your Bible. And you can take the weak. Oh, it doesn't you, say that in the Bible. You can take the decrepit. You can take people who can't help themselves. We don't want them. It's simple. But you're probably right. There's no way that Taylor Swift is secretly a Satanist and they're writing secret Satanic music and the elites are all under the Satanic agenda of control and manipulation of people, right? Right? You see, everything in your world revolves around God and the Bible, whether you believe in it or not.